Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Okay guys, so it is week two of the pantry freezer challenge. I'd love to know how it's going for you guys if you are uh, doing it right along with me. For me, I am enjoying using up groceries and things from the freezer and pantry, but I do miss grocery shopping, I'm not even gonna lie. But um, for dinner tonight, we are having this Velveeta skillet meal. It's something that I've needed to use for a while. And then we are also having some um, frozen corn from Sam's. Um, this came in a larger bag and it had the six um, smaller steam bags and so I'm just using up one of those. Um, I did not cook it in the microwave, I did cook it on the stove top and I added some butter and salt to it. So here is um, Howard's plate actually. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I am trying out a new recipe tonight. It is creamy chicken salsa verde. I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box, but it calls for one pound of chicken tenderloins. And I had the, this chicken out in my freezer, of course. And so I let it thaw, I cleaned it and it's ready to go. You're supposed to season it with some taco seasoning. And this Trader Joe's taco seasoning mix is my absolute favorite. Um, but I wanted to show you the difference between this one and just the regular taco seasoning mix that most of us have. So this one is not my favorite, but I have this huge uh, container of it in my pantry that I am going to be using up. But since this recipe calls for such few ingredients, I wanted to make sure that I used a really good taco mix. And so you can see the difference between the Trader Joe's and then the Old El Paso. The Trader Joe's is so good, so flavorful. So I'm gonna be using that to season my chicken tenderloins. You're just supposed to um, add this to your chicken, rub it in, season it, and then you're supposed to saute it until it's cooked. And then to that, you're going to add some salsa verde and cream cheese. I'm gonna mix it up in a bowl and when the chicken is cooked, I'm just going to add it to the chicken mixture and then let it simmer. And then you're supposed to garnish it with cilantro, but I do not have any cilantro. And I plan on serving mine over some jasmine rice and then I'm going to stir fry some fresh broccoli. So let me get started and I'll show you how it all turns out. So here is the finished product and I am serving it with some jasmine rice and some stir fried broccoli that I picked up from Walmart. I had to go and grab some stuff for Harrison so I grabbed some fresh veggies as well. So all I did was um, heat up some olive oil, added my broccoli. I don't add any water or anything like that with it. I like it to have a little bit of a char. And then I just use this garlic salt, um, typically on my broccoli and green beans, stuff like that. So I would definitely make this again. It's really tasty and it was really easy to make. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having taco salads. The taco salad shells were in my freezer. Here they are. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've talked about these a hundred times on our What's For Dinner videos. I love these things. They're super hard to find. When I do find them, I stock up on them and put them in my freezer. And they just come with the formers and you bake them in the oven and they taste fried, but they're actually not. And I know people have said you can just use regular flour tortillas and then the formers that you use in the oven and it's just not the same. These are so good. If you ever see them, definitely grab them. So we're having the taco salads and I had the ground beef and everything else on hand, of course. And then we are having refried beans with them. Refried beans came from my pantry. And um, the taco seasoning that I'm using is this stuff, which is not my favorite, but it's in my pantry and it's a big value size, so I'm trying to use it up. My favorite is um, Trader Joe's, 
but with the pantry challenge, I'm determined to use up this stuff that I don't really care for. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Korean inspired egg roll in a bowl. And I did record a video on how I made this and I'll make sure to link it in the description box. But from our freezer, we used a pound of ground pork. And then in my refrigerator, I had this coleslaw mix. I also had a red onion, I had garlic. And what else did I have? I had all the seasonings that, that I needed for it, like um, fish sauce, soy sauce, all of that stuff. And then with it, we are having mandu. And if you remember on the freezer tour, I had a lot of mandu in the freezer. And so I just made that. This is a chicken mandu. And we really like this brand. It is so good. So I just pan fried up some mandu for us. And then I am serving it with some jasmine rice. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight we are having taco pie and I did record a video on how I make that, how I make this pie, so be on the lookout for that. Um, but I am serving taco pie with um, some, some corn, easy for me to say, that I had in my freezer from Sam's. And if you are a YouTuber and you are doing this freezer and pantry challenge, just let me know in the comments below. Love to give your channel a shout out. I know Frugal Mama in the Woods is doing this challenge um, along with me. And so I'll link her channel in the description box. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time.